Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Katsuma from Moshi Monsters. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to start on the left side and draw the upper eyelid. Starting from the outside, I'm going to curve down and in. We're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So lining up the bottom edge, curve up and then out. Now underneath the eyelid, we want to draw the lower part of the eye. So we're going to draw a little half circle. So on the outside, we're just going to step in just a little bit to create a little overlap draw that little half circle coming up in towards the center. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right, starting from the inside, go down, and then just pull that up again, leaving a little bit of an overlap on the end. Let's tuck the iris and pupil in underneath the eyelid. So it's another half circle. Starting at the top, we're gonna leave a little gap here, curving down towards the bottom, and then pulling that up. Do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, going down, and then back up. At the top of the iris, we're going to add a little circle for the highlight. So right up here, we're just going to tuck it up against the side here. We're just going to draw a little circle. Pull that in underneath the eyelid. Now we're going to draw a smaller half circle just behind the highlight for the pupil. Starting at the bottom here, we'll just curl around. Let's do the same thing on the right. So over here, we're going to start the highlight down here. Curve it up underneath the eyelid. Then again, just at the bottom of the highlight, we'll circle around for the pupil. In between the eyes, we're going to shift over towards the right slightly and draw the nose. So it's a little oval. And then at the top left side here, we're just going to draw a smaller oval for a highlight. Now right at the bottom of the nose, I'm just going to draw a straight line coming down. And we'll curve up the top of the mouth, going over towards the left side. Now on the bottom of the mouth here, we're just going to draw two little fangs, two little V-shapes. One on the left and one on the right. And then from the corner of the mouth, I'm just going to curve down bottom and then just pull that up underneath the fangs. On the side of the mouth I'm just going to curve underneath the fang for the tongue. Now around the mouth we're just going to draw a little circle just for a little face patch. So starting at the top of the nose, go around the mouth towards the bottom and we'll just pull that in at the top again. Let's draw that four pointed star in the middle of the forehead. So in between the eyes we're going to step up just a little bit draw a point. From this point I'm just going to curve up and out towards the left go back down to the bottom, curve up and out towards the right. Now we take these points and draw a curve going up towards the top. So we want to make this a little bit longer. Come back down on the right side. Now that we've got the face, let's draw in the sides of the head. So directly above the eye, right up here, we're going to start by curving down and out around the eye. We're going to bring this around with a curve underneath the mouth. We're going to go back up to the top on this side and draw a curve going in the opposite direction. So we're going to lower this down a little because the ear is going to overlap on top. So just above the side of the eye, curve around and bring this in. We're just going to connect the bottoms here. On this side here, we're going to overlap the first ear. So from that point, I want to step in, curve up and out towards the top. So right about there, we're going to round out the top of the ear, curving around. Now we're going to bring this back in, but we're going to taper it inwards. Coming down and then just pulling that in. Let's draw on the top of the head, so there's these hairs that stick out at the top. So we're going to continue this line up here. We're going to draw a wave curving over, and then we're just going to pull that up. We're going to curve this back down towards the middle. We'll draw another hair going up. Curl this up, and we'll pull that back down. So we're aiming towards the center of the head. Now we're going to step up and just overlap the hair on in behind. So curving over, curve that back. Now we've got this little gap here beside the head here. Curve out again and we'll just merge in. Just pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's take this ear and draw the same thing on the right side in behind the hair. So starting up here, we're going to curve up to the top, round it out, pull it back and then in behind the hair. Let's go in and add some stripe detail. So starting on the left ear here, starting down here, we're gonna draw an angle line going up, pull it down, and then we'll pull it back towards the inside of the ear. Let's add a little spike here, going across, and then back out. We'll draw one going in the opposite direction. We'll draw a small one right in here. Now let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're gonna start with a line that goes from the inside to the outside. Draw a spike on the right, Another one here, coming in, back out. We'll add one tiny one on the side here. 
Now along the cheeks, there's these three spikes that come in. So starting up here, draw like almost like a sideways V, leave a little gap. Draw three of them on one side. We'll do the same thing on the right. Starting just below the eye, and we'll work our way down. Okay, so now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm gonna start with the arm first, just below the eye, underneath the head. We're gonna curve out and then down. We're gonna round out the hand and pull it up in the opposite direction, leaving a little gap below the head. Now behind the arm, we're just gonna draw on the body. It's basically a circle going behind. So starting on the inside of the arm, we're gonna curve around. And just pull that up underneath the head. We're gonna add a little body swirl. So right here at the bottom, we're just gonna curve around and in towards the middle. We're gonna draw a straight angle line coming back. And we'll continue that curve all the way around to the side of the body. Let's add an arm on this side. So from the side of the bottom, we step out, curve down towards the tip of the hand, round it out, and pull it in behind the body. Let's continue down with the feet. So on the left side here, underneath the body, we're just gonna curve out and then down. We're gonna step in, curve in the opposite direction. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve. Let's add some toe separations in here. So in the middle, we're just gonna curve up over towards the left. We're gonna draw this three times. Now let's draw the foot on the right. So we're going to start in the middle of the body at the bottom with a short angle line. About halfway along that line, we're just going to curve down towards the heel. Now you're going to draw a straight line going across the profile edge of the foot. Now up here on the side of the body, I just want to draw the upper part of the thigh curving around. We're going to overlap, coming back up, curve down towards the tip of the toe. And here we're just going to draw two short little lines going across. The final thing, we're going to add the tail in the back here. So we're going to start with a curve that comes out from the body and up. So let's start at the tip of the tail, curving in behind the arm. From the tip, we're just going to draw a straight angle line going out. We draw a curve coming back in, right about there. We're going to draw some hairs on the bottom here. So from here, I'm just going to curve out, curve that back in. Again, just sort of aiming in behind the body. Draw one more curve. We'll hook that in behind the body here. Let's add some striped details. The top of the tail, I'm just going to draw a straight angle line. And then right up here, we're going to draw like a long V. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Katsuma from Moshi Monsters. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.